Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to This Is My Moment. I see you. I see you. All right, all right. Before we get started with our episode today, and we got a good one planned for you guys today, I think it's only best that we get started with some news, right? Y'all want to hear some stuff? Our first bit of news is rapper Bow Wow has made it known that anyone that has seen two guys on a black and silver bike to report it to him in rewards of $10,000. Bow Wow's going to give you $10,000 for turning in a bike? Hmm. Okay, I can do that. I could use $10,000. Could you use $10,000? I know you could. All right, Bow Wow, I found your bike. And before any of you ask, no, I'm not sharing with any of you, okay? I found the bike. Bow Wow, I accept cash, cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Apple Pay, money order, check, food stamps, however you wanna pay. Just send me the money, okay? Here's your bike. Okay? All right, there's your bike. Send me my money, please. In other news, designer Virgil Abloh has released his version of Pop Smoke's cover album. Hmm. Did you guys see that? I know, it, it was very disappointing, right? It seemed like he spent less on that than he did. We was trying to get protesters out of jail. Hmm. It was right around the amount of $49. <laughs> In other news, have you guys heard about August Alcina? releasing information that him and Jada was together. And also, August Alcina made it known that Will Smith gave his blessing to him. That's crazy. Are you married? You? No, you don't look like you want to be married. It's okay. It's okay. Would you give your blessing? I would. I would never put myself in that situation. <laughs> Our last bit of news, guys. There's a second stimulus check that is said to come out in August. And before you say it for the seventh time, we know you haven't got yours, okay? We know. It's coming. The second stimulus tech is said to be very generous, and people are very excited to spend it on everything. Here's a picture of what you can spend it on. Did you see anything? That's right, because there's nothing to buy. You guys bought it all with the first $1,200. What are you gonna buy with this next one? With everything going on, guys, I think it's only right that we end this on a good note. So, here's a picture of LeBron and Kobe side by side. Enjoy this photo. That's all the news I got for you guys. We got a great show coming for you guys today. The famous filmmaker out of Cleveland, Ohio, Conrad Abel Miles, will be here on set talking about what he's got going on and what he's been doing and how you guys can stay involved with what he got. So you guys stay where you're at, grab your chips, grab something to drink and stay tuned for This Is My Moment. Welcome back everybody to This Is My Moment. I'm your host, Tay Stubb, and it is time to bring out our first guest for the evening. Now, you may have heard about this man behind the camera, but he is known to be in front of the camera when it's time to do what he does best. But if you don't know him on the scenes within the film industry, you may have seen him as a crunk dancer. Look him up on YouTube when I give you this name and don't be shocked. Without further ado, I've talked long enough. I've wasted enough time. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for my man, my brother, Conrad Abel Miles. I told you, I told you, this is Conrad Abel Miles. This is the guy I was telling you all about. Hey, so 
we got to jump straight into it, man. You got like 20 million things going on. Yeah, man. I'm crazy busy. Bro. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad goodness. we can finally get you on, man. You took yeah. time out of your schedule. That, that means a lot to me. Bro. I appreciate you. I appreciate you having me. I appreciate you. Yeah. So, um, Tribeca Film Institute winner. Yeah, man. You are a Tribeca Film Institute winner. Yeah, bro. Hey, give it up. Ohio. Yeah. So how does that feel, man, to be a film institute winner? Um, it feels great. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, surreal for real. Um knowing like where we come from, knowing in Cleveland where you where we come from, or knowing like the areas when you feel like uh what if we do win? What if we won? You yeah. know what I'm saying? When we don't win, we be like, man, if I would have won, I would have did this, but we actually won. Right. And it was like wow, like it didn't like hit me until like a day later like man we actually freaking won right. on a major stage right. in front of a lot of people it was like i was mind blown bro yeah. i was mind blown but it was it's, it's amazing feeling like it's a blessing yeah. it's a it blessing bro. the city too yeah everybody saw that they went crazy yeah like yeah. I, I was low-key overwhelmed i i don't do well like not I, i'm not i'm not gonna say i don't do well with a lot of people hit me up i was like looking at my phone like my phone won't stop buzzing phone won't stop ringing text messages like no nah. <laughs> no 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 nah. uh -uh. so your celebration had to be crazy uh yeah like me and my boy chris chris webb big shout out to chris webb shout out. we both won we collabed on a project the session and i know Tay gonna touch in touch on it in a bit Hey, that's my next thing. See this? <laughs> you see this guy? This guy, he knows what he, 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 he about to be sitting over here. That's what he about to do. So the film that you won at the film institute was called The Session. The Session. You created that, man. You and Chris Webb. Um, I don't want to talk about it. I think they can get more from you talking about it. So tell us about The Session. So about The Session. The Session talks about three individuals in a subculture um called crump we in a culture called crump we in a, a dance movement um and it talks about our lifestyle and how we use crump to combat mental health mm -hmm. and how we use crump as an outlet how we use crump to escape the trauma that we've been going through mm -hmm. the 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 um the heartache the drama mm -hmm. you might be trying to you run into crump to get away from games mm -hmm. so that's what we wanted to uh to show people how crump and mental health go hand in hand and then with Crump, uh, we wanted to show people the community. We want to show people the love. We want to show people the support. Right. And uh, mental health is very serious in the black community. No doubt. So with that, um, we created we created a, a the session. So Chris was at my house one day. I'm gonna take y'all through a whole little journey. Chris was at my house, and um, he was telling me about a project he was working on. He was trying to um, submit it to Tribeca Film Institute. But he didn't feel like the project was didn't have its umph at the moment. Yeah. So I was like, man, how about we do it on Crump? We can use mental health and Crump because we talk, we go through that all the time. Right. And he was like, yo, that's genius. Set set a session up. So I set a session up like two days later. We did a two minute draft and sent it off to Tribeca Film Institute. Maybe like three, four months later, they hit us back like, hey, congratulations, you're one of six finalists. I'm like, whoa, we tripping. Like, six? Like, how many people applied? Right. We didn't even think we was going to be able to get in. So, after that, me and Chris Webb had to put together a pitch. We had to pitch in front of an audience, a live audience, and a live judge panel at the Ritz Carlton downtown at the Cleveland International Film right, Festival. Right. I don't talk well in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't talk crazy. well in front of people. So, after that, we we did the pitch we killed it when i say we killed it oh my goodness like what school what, what college you go to you go to harvard what, what, what college nah there's a, there's like that yeah we the pitch was so on point we hit them hard straight in the mouth mm. and um found out later on at the at the end of ceremony of the uh, of sif and we won and it was like we just made history not just for ourselves, mm -hmm. but for our community. 
That's fact. We want to give hope to the person that's thinking they can't make or think they can't get to where they're trying to get to. Right. We just gave them just a little bit of hope to be like, man, if they can do it, I know I can do it. That's crazy. That's we, we know it's a lot of people out there in the stands that's supporters and fans of myself and what I've been doing for the community as well. But um, I think I'm going to send them your way <laughs> because y'all have no idea how inspired I was when I seen that this man and not just this man, a black man and two black men won at that film festival. It was crazy. So with you sparking Cleveland, did you get a lot of new inquiries inquiries about new dancers like wanting to crump yeah like different dancers was like man i need to i, I just want to come to the session and, and experience mm -hmm. what y'all got going on i want to i want to come to the session and see what's going on let me just feel the energy right. like people was like man I, I need to pull up to the session and then when you actually do get to see the session people like this will make me want to dance i can't imagine the the feeling the atmosphere in that room we we gonna talk about your dance career later. Don't 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 even get started. Look, when y'all hear this, we can't show y'all a demonstration. But when y'all hear this, just know <laughs> this man gets busy. Okay. So jumping into your film background, man, okay. you are really good at what you do. Yeah. I've I've seen you behind the camera. Uh, I work with you behind the camera and uh, on short films, features, um, some commercials you did, and music videos. You ever get tired? Oh, bro, I'm tired right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tired right now. <laughs> Shoot. With so, so with you being so tired all the time, what keeps you going? Man, what keeps me going? God, man. God keep me going. Um, I try to find rest. Mm -hmm. Um, My wife, she be cooking that good food. Shout out to wives that cook great food. My wife be cooking that good food, but I tell you. I gotta hit the gym. Now it's time to hit. I gotta put the gym inside the schedule. The wife cooks so good, bro. But yeah, man, just God, you know what I mean. Resting, my wife and my my boys, my my uh, I mean my mama, and uh, seeing what I produce, mm -hmm. seeing it succeed, yeah. that keeps me going. Yeah. All right, if I'm doing that, I can do even more. Right. So I gotta put a little bit more work in. I got to press a little bit harder. I got to strive a little bit more to get to where I'm trying to get to. Because, you know what I mean? You got to work hard for what you want. You got you got to work hard to get what you want. Right. So that's the that's what keep me going, man. That adds, that adds fuel to the fire. Right. I don't really know if I got any haters or nothing like that, but, <laughs> you know, if I did have some, I'd just be stepping on top of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't think you, I don't think we've seen anybody hate on the work you've done because it's, it's so inspiring and you include every different aspect of everybody's world Definitely. so i know in in jumping right into bully yes, sir. which has 1.4 million views on youtube right now go check that out it's called bully check that out. short film so with bully you took something that kids deal with every day and made a film out of it and show people the perspective that they may not even see. A lot of parents may not even see yeah. what their kids are going through, but you show the real world, the real situation. And now you 1.4 million views later yeah. and growing, people are still watching that. So uh, we're gonna jump into the deal later on, but tell us about Bully. Bully, bro. And, and what's crazy is it's a 26 minute film, 26 minutes. I kept there. I kept people attention for 26 minutes. Yes, man. Wow. Bully. Y'all know I made that film when I quit my job. Entrepreneur. <laughs> Literally, after I quit my job, I made that film. I was on a hunt to uh to get a short film done. I was like, I gotta do this. And then I woke up in the middle of the night and I was like, Bully, I gotta do the film on bullying. I gotta do that film. Only reason I did the bully because I know what it feels like to be. But I was coming from a Cleveland public school district to Bedford. I was coming to Bedford. I was coming to Bedford schools, 
and uh, you know, I ain't had the nicest clothes on. I didn't have, I didn't look the ni nicest. My haircut wasn't always there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but y'all, I'll, I'll hear the whispers. Yeah. People talking about you. I hear that. You know what I mean? I think one girl said, I was walking home, and a girl was like, was laughing at me. She was like, he can't read. Then the other girl was like, girl, you better not say that. That man to be rich in a couple years. <laughs> I can read that money though. Right. right. Yeah. Hey. I, can read, I, can, I can read that money though. Never lie. But I definitely can read though. I just took time. I'm I'm it was a transition. Mm -hmm. So transitioning from a Cleveland public school district mm -hmm. to a suburban school district, mm -hmm. it just took me a little bit more time to get where I was trying to get to. But I got there though. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm just starting to go here. My friends wanna tell me. It's people talking about me, my friends wanna tell me. So I was like, okay. But then later down the line in life, and I was like, then I, I, I can relate to something like that. I know friends who've been bullied. I know right. different people who's, who've been bullied. Now I'm looking at the uh, statistics and seeing like uh, six kids have submitted com committed suicide in uh, one school district throughout the whole year. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta speak to the, I gotta speak to the people. Right. I feel like this is my way of showing um, the bullier. And the kid that's being bullied, there's a different way out. Mm -hmm. Like, I, and I wanted to be able to paint a picture for the audience. So we're bullied. If you if you watch the film, I don't want to give too much away, but it's been online for a couple for, for like two years, about a year, about two years. So the kid that's bullying comes to a point where he thought it was just we was just playing, but the kid that was becoming bullied wasn't. It wasn't no game. He was being he. It, it was a real thing for him. So. Um, I wanted to really paint a picture of something different that don't happen in school at all. And the crazy part is, um, a kid took his life inside of a school in Wayne County after I released the film. Maybe like a week later. And I don't even think he's seen the film. But it was showing you how right on time I was with that. I was like, wow, I've never seen anything like this. A kid kill, uh, taking his life inside the classroom. I never would have thought anybody was going to take their life inside of a school at all. Mm -hmm. The kid was coming to shoot the school up because he was getting bullied, but ended up killing himself. Oh, wow. So but I really wanted to paint a picture for people like, look, man, you never bully anybody. You never know what somebody is going through. The bullier is going through something. And the person that's being bullied is going through something as well. So don't take your pain out on somebody who already has pain. Just because you got pain and another person got pain don't mean you can cause them more pain. Because at the end, it's going to be more pain and heartache. Yeah. Because you didn't mean to do that. But they, at the same time, couldn't take the pressure of what you was giving out. So you touching very, very sensitive topics in, yeah. in Bully, which is crazy. Um, to continue going with the what society sees and how society reacts to certain things and for you to be able to touch on something that happens in class that people don't really take seriously was amazing to me when i watched it i know i watched the film about three four times um but we're going to show you guys a short clip when we come back for break you guys stay where you're at stay tuned it's more with conrad abel miles look him up abel one shot this is the man, the myth, the legend. You heard it here first. We'll be right back. Everybody, to this is my moment. I am here still with Conrad over Miles, the man. Yeah, give it up for him. Y'all can clap as much as y'all want. This is the man right here. So, before we went on our break, I mentioned that you guys needed to see Bully short film. So, we have a clip queued up of Bully uh, that we're going to play for you guys so you guys can get a glimpse of uh, what it is. It's, it's actually the scene where um, Trent, Trent Naylor, shout out Trent. Trent. And Drew 
my boy Drew was in the scene together. They was in the school. Yes, sir. So that's the scene we have queued up. We're going to show you guys. Take a look at this and just get a feel for what Abel was talking about. Hey, yo, Trent, man. Don't let him get you, bro. They just being jerks. Right, right. He is jerks. How about y'all leave me alone? What you gonna do about it? Man, leave him alone. Hey, get up off him, man. Man, who you touching, bro? We up. Hey, y'all niggas wildin' for real. Yeah, man. I'm sick of this, bro. Trent! Trent! Man, somebody need to teach them a lesson. Shit, I don't know what's wrong with him. It don't make no sense to mess with somebody who just got here. Right, like, what if he shoot up the school or something? Oh. I'll be the first one out. <laughs> Talking to Trent, trying to get yeah. Some insight on how he felt about what was going on. Obviously, we seen that Trent was down. Yeah. Yeah. So, did the emotions rise at that point? Was that like the climax of the? It wasn't the climax, but you can tell it was very serious. Yeah. In a sense, because Drew asked Trent, "Hey, man, did you tell your mom? Mm -hmm. Did you tell your parents what's going on?" He was like, "Nah." And in the sense of that's scary because if you don't, if you're not telling anyone what's going on, you're not able to release that pressure that's built up inside of you. Right. So it's like, after a while, Trent continued to let that let, let that thing build up in him until it was time to explode. Mm -hmm. And Trent kind of already had his mind made up on what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, the the height of the whole film happens, and like it's very emotional. Right. It's very real you almost feel like you're in the scene inside the movie inside the movie right you, you almost feel like you're in the scene like oh my gosh what can i do to stop this right but you can't because you're watching it <laughs> <laughs> and i know firsthand that you know going through school that everybody was talking about everybody you know everybody there was a point where everybody was saying something about everybody so uh, you know, there are little pieces of bullying that turn into big pieces. Definitely. That, that carry on throughout people's lives. So, um, like I said, you guys need to watch the whole film. Uh, it's 26 minutes on YouTube. It's called Bully Short Film. Make sure you guys see that. Getting to 1.5 million views. Come on now. Yeah, getting there. So, jumping into the next short film. Okay. The Deal. The Deal. The Deal. Yeah. Came right after. That was a day shoot. Yeah, that, in a day. that day. Yeah, that was wild. We was hustling. Yeah, it was cold outside too. It was freezing. Oh it was like God. negative it was fifteen degrees. Boy, it was cold. Hey, but I was so glad to be a part of that. Man, I appreciate, I appreciate you yeah. being a part, bro. You killed your role. Hey, hey. <laughs> he he said that, so we gonna cut to a clip right now. No, no, we're not. No, look, look it up. The deal, short film, okay. Yeah. By Conrad Avery Miles, yeah. Um, with the deal that came after Bully, yes. uh, how did you come up with shooting something completely different? Because the deal was about a kid trying to find his way to better himself, yes, sir. but you know, he got mixed in with the wrong people and stuff, and but it ended up coming out good. Yeah. So, how did you come up with that? So, with, with the deal. You know, through, through your younger age, like I'm saying, younger age, man, we in our 20s, bro. Oh, we, goodness, we, we, we still young. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. That's not, that's we not, young. yeah, we still young. Look at this. Come on, we don't age. Lady, I went to the doctor yesterday, and lady was, lady was like, So your mother work here? I was like, No. Nah. She was like, Oh, you young, sweetheart. I like, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm a grown man. <laughs> I'm a grown man. <laughs> My, my wife was on the phone looking and laughing but um with the deal man the deal is based on a kid that's just trying to find his way mm -hmm. trying to fit in um he live in a decent neighborhood but he like my friend is doing it so let me just go ahead and see what i can do with it right. it won't hurt maybe like one or two times right. 
make a little bit of money. Nobody had to know. So um, he ended up getting into what he what he what he was trying to get into, but uh, he couldn't get out. He was scared. He couldn't get out. It got it got too deep too quick. And uh, it was either he had a, he had he had to decide. You want to live or you want to die. And that's a that's a deep concept to swallow. Shout out Jay Watts, by the way. Yes, sir. Shout out Jay Watts. So, with those two films, and we know we can't expect more from you, cause cause with everything you got going on, I already I already know, already know. So. The people have heard enough about the film. The able that films. Let's hear about the able that crumps. <laughs> like I said before, I can't say this enough. This boy gets down, okay? I seen the battle. The boy slid across the floor on one knee. It's some stump the yard three type stuff, okay? If they ever made a stump the yard three, he would have been the main character that didn't die. Yeah, we still mad Chris Brown died. In right. Like Thirty seconds into. Thirty the movie. seconds into the movie, you gone. Come it was on, it was man. wrong. He did the little elbow. Thing. He did the little elbow thing. He died still. Sorry, man. On, so, Abel, the yes, crump, sir. boy gets busy. Now, you you came in the crump, like when Rise came out, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So when Rise came out, uh, did you take to it the same way the movie had everybody take to it? I took to it differently. I was doing a little, you know what I'm saying? But I really didn't take to it too much. But I seen Chris Brown having his movie, his uh, his music videos was coming out and they was doing their thing. And I was like, oh, this is dope. So I'll be in the living room um, doing it. but. It wasn't until I really went to the Boys and Girls Club in Cleveland Heights mm -hmm. that I met um, my bro Don in Paris. Mm -hmm. And they was teaching Crump in the basement during the uh, uh, during the rec hours. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa. And I got hooked ever since. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was um, 14 years ago. Crazy. And, and look where you at now, doing battle. Battling still. Going work. crazy. I'm everywhere, bro. I ain't playing no games. You went you went out the country. Yeah, Montreal twice. You went to Montreal to battle. Crazy. Lost the first time I went out there. I was in I went out there to do a tournament. Lost to um Taminator. Big shout out to Taminator out in Montreal. And uh the Boy, next man. year, the next year I went, I won the tournament. Mm. Brought 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 it home for the city. One six brought it home for the city. Crazy. Yeah, man, it was. Oh my goodness, that was a that was a great moment right there. It was a serious battle, and overall the experience is great, man. Big shout out to the Gutter Zone out in, in Montreal, man. My boy Seven Star put that together, man. Big shout out to the Montreal Crump Movement, man. That mother was crazy. The the clip that I seen uh, was you on stage. It was on stage. That's wild. I wish I could find the clip to show you guys but like i said look him up on instagram you will see it you'll see all these amazing things that this guy does now with rise coming out at that time when crump became you know known to the world yeah tie-dye tie-dyes bro tie -dye. you met tie -dye. multiple times tie-dye hey, tie shout out tie-dyes man tie-dyes hey i ain't gonna lie tie-dyes had me on some <laughs> Tide hey, had me on some stuff. He did. Y'all y'all ain't gonna see that today. We can cut that out. We okay, we can cut that out. <laughs> you met Tide Eyes. Yeah, man. The man that started Crump. Yeah. Velvet Crump. And uh Miho. Tide Eyes and Miho started Crump. This man met him. I told y'all he the man. <laughs> Tide Eyes and Miho. What was that like? Uh First time I met Tide Eyes, I was like, I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I was lost for words. Didn't know what I was, didn't know what I wanted to say. And I was like, man, do I like stick my hand out and say what's up? Or I was like, head nod. Yeah. He was walking by, mm -hmm. and it was our first time in um, Virginia. And I was like, man, what do I say to this dude? Like, he's just walking by. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, 
that's the legend and then um once i seen once i seen chez i mean tight eyes i don't want to call him chez but tight eyes once i seen him and i was like wow down to earth person man um really great guy best dancer i've ever seen in the world on oh, god big shout out to tight eyes miho ain't nobody touching him and then when i met miho um i was the same shock i was like i met tight eyes man i was in shock when i met miho i was like man it two legends we creators man still like don't i don't care how long i've been in the game it's mm -hmm. like i'm still that way when i meet him mm -hmm. it's because it's like yo you created something that changed my life right so but with them man I, I'll, I'll be in awe when i meet him like um miho that's man i, I look up to both of them tight eyes and miho i look up to both of them man they two great people best dancers i've ever seen in the world and they created something that helped change my life and helped get to get me where i need to get to. now this may be a little far-fetched uh did, did you get them uh the clip of the session oh they seen it oh for what okay did, did you get any feedback from uh from tight eyes mm -hmm. tight eyes he uh he said he, he loved it. he said it was very powerful yeah um i haven't talked to miho about it yet mm -hmm. but i think he has seen it okay but i mean they they they, they definitely uh support everything that i got going on with the with the session and with the documentary though that's wild and that's that that's amazing in, in itself that's crazy you have a conversation with two creators that created a movement that changed the world forever that nobody else can do that's you the man i i told you i told you so now we're gonna jump into you know we talked about the session and how it changed people's lives yeah. a lot of people's lives are changing yeah. and with people's lives changing do you think that crump can help alter people's lives just as much as a totally takes on people's body in their mind yeah i yeah. think so yeah it can alter you said alter right alter yeah. right yeah. yeah in a good way or bad way good way oh for a fact yeah um it altered my life mm -hmm. if it wasn't for if it wasn't for crump i wouldn't be doing filming mm -hmm. i had to record my dance videos and put them on facebook and youtube mm -hmm. I was like, man, this is dope. Mm -hmm. Recording, getting different angles. Mm -hmm. And when I was doing that, I'm like, oh, nice. I think I can even do more with this. Right. So crumping opened the door for filmmaking for me. Cinematography, videography for me. Mm -hmm. Crump opened up that door for me. That's wild. So we have to take another short break, guys. Um, when we come back, we're going to find out how good Conrad Abel Miles is when it comes to films, and let's see if he knows his films. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after this short break. Ooh. Welcome back, everybody, to This Is My Moment. I am still here with Conrad Abel Miles, the man, the myth, the legend in the film industry, as well as the dance industry. So it is time to play Name That Movie. Are you ready? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask him or repeat a line from a movie. He has a name, the movie, or name, the actor or actress that says that line. Let's see how well his film knowledge really is, right? So, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. million dollars who you think you kidnapped chelsea clean i might have to let that pass <laughs> i'm sorry you know you don't know money talks <laughs> chris tucker chris tucker all right nope. I feel. Nope. that's actually wrong i guess no that's wrong that's rush hour hey Hey, look, 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 I haven't seen Rush Hour in, I don't know when. I, I, I messed that up. I, see, that's, we all know, both of us all know. Yeah, I messed that up. I was just thinking about money talks. 
Next one. Okay. Yes, I do know the answers. Y'all ain't. Don't judge me. We make mistakes. I don't. Go to a rose. Go to a rose. Go. Go. Go to a rose. Why he doing me like this? <laughs> he ain't even giving me enough. Hold on. I'll give you a hint. Gabrielle Union was in this. Oh, it's the one joint. I know exactly what it is. Bring it on. No, 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 not bring it on, but they was cheerleading and stuff like that. Yeah, we can we can get that to him. We gonna get that to him? What is it? Uh I know exactly what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said bring it on. Yeah, but yeah, it's, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I ain't he, watched he that all, movie in a minute. He all, he all good. Now. The next one. You right. should know this one. Everybody knows this one. Sure. This actor has won an Oscar for this movie. Okay. All right. Try and do it right. I, 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 I'm gonna make a do what it do, baby. Oh, it's my favorite movie. Go ahead. Look at that camera and say the name of that. Ray Charles. Come on. Okay. Okay. Come on, baby. I, I Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's. <laughs> <laughs> this cat is silly. Oh man, Ray. I, I see. I gotta do the do the voice, the impersonation. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. This is one of my favorite actors. Okay. All right. This recently just came out. Not recently. Not this year, but last year. What law is there say I got to like him? Boy is bad. He one of the best actors ever. Denzel. That's Denzel. What movie? He played a father in this movie. What law does he say that I gotta like? Him? Oh man. It was it was a stage play too. Oh, uh, um Um Fences. Yep. Come on up. Fences. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well well, he he about a he's shooting like seventy five percent from the field right now, which ain't bad. So I give you a pass on that, brother. Okay. Film knowledge is okay. Film knowledge is a B plus. Okay. He passed. Um, so before I let you go, man, I gotta I gotta ask you this question. Yes, sir. You create a lot of influence on people. Yeah. You you bring people into different worlds and you show people how they should be seen, which is more so of what I do and how I like to bring the community together. With you creating that influence, what is your biggest problem that you face when trying to get people to see things how you see it? Um, Changing people's perspective is basically what I'm giving them time and get get patience. patience. Um, showing them like, look. This is the way I see it. I'm trying to get you to see it my way. Mm -hmm. Not exactly. You don't have to go my way, mm -hmm. but I want you to see it just a little bit. Of, you don't have to see the the thing about it. Everybody wants. Some, sometimes people want you. Got, I want you to see it my way or no way. Right. I just want you to see a, a, a just a bit yeah. of my way, not the whole thing, but just a tiny bit, so you can see. Okay, let me implement what he what. Let me implement a, a little bit of what he got going on. Mm -hmm. Let me apply it to my life right. to see if I can progress. Right. And if it's gonna help you progress, do it. Like, but let me let me take a little bit of hit. Let me take because I see he's moving. I see he's he's uh he's finishing strong. I see he's succeeding in 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 the lane that he's in. I'm trying to go my own lane, but let me take just a little bit. Let me take just a little grain of salt. Boom, mix it up. To help me get to where I'm trying to get to. That's the biggest thing. That's what I did. I look at different people like, man, you want, is it, I don't know it all. Right. So, well, I'm just about to be like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to go in there blind. Mm -hmm. Some people do that. But if, man, okay, let me, let me get a little bit of game from him. Let me add, let me apply that to my life. So I can, so I can 
get the wheels turning so I can turn the ignition. Let me get the car on. Let me get the car on first. And then I can drive. You need the keys first. Let me. That's what Cali said the keys, but it's not like. It's not like that, but it's more. Can I turn the car on? Do I got gas in it? Is the is the oil good? Cause you got the wheel, you got the wheels, you got the engine and everything. Mm-hmm. People, you got the whip, but can I turn it on? Mm-hmm. Can will the whip last me if I'm gonna drive to my destination? Mm-hmm. It's the biggest thing. You ain't gonna get to no destination without no gas if the oil chain if the oil is, is not good. Right. You ain't got no windshield wiper to get through the storm. Come on, man. It's crazy. I want everybody to take that metaphor and, and live with that for a while. So let that marinate. As Martin would say, let it marinate. Let that marinate. I might tweet that though. Windshield wiper to get through the storm. So with your situation that you go through and everything that you create, if you could choose one scenario to create an outcome of, what would it be? Pick something that you went through or that you've seen somebody go through and predict the outcome of it, if you could control it. Yeah, I'm making you think. No, nah, man, next movie in, the, in, the, in due time. I do, I'm gonna do a movie on me. Mm. People, people seen the crump side of my story. Mm-hmm. It's a glimpse, like they ain't, we saw, in a session, we saw a small bit of my story a small bit, but if I'm able to show y'all like a whole feature mm-hmm. of what my life was like from birth, yeah. I'd love to be able to show people that. That's crazy. This is show you, like no no offense to nobody, I wouldn't want, I, I can't tell their story the way, I can't tell nobody else's story better than how they can tell it. Right. I know I can tell my story. Right. But then also I can tell, I can, I can make up a story. My biggest thing is, as a filmmaker, try to keep it as real as possible. Authentic. Gotcha. Every film I've made, everything I, I've done has been real situations. Next film coming crazy. Feature. Speaking of next film, you, people don't, they, it's not on social media, but you did say you were acting now. I acted in my first joint. Stay tuned. So you behind the camera and now you in front of the camera. They is this, put me in front of the camera. Is this like a different feeling? Something oh, new to bro. you? Oh, bro. Like, it was different. I was acting with people who would do... I was acting with real actors. I'm talking about a dude on set. Tap, he crying. He tapping in. And he just cry on the drop of, of a dime. I was like, man, they got me in here with the big dog. Oh, man. I look terrible. So can you give any details on like what you do? Um, I know my main character. Okay, all right. So we we gonna see you. I get slammed on the ground. Just gotta stay tuned. Why you see? Like they mm, mm. face on the ground. It was hot that day too. Oh my goodness! Boy, summer is Dirt all in my mouth. I'm chewing on rocks, like not big rocks, but I'm. <laughs> I'm chewing on oh, like. Goodness. I'm talking about, oh my goodness, man, it was crazy, but it was amazing. Wow. It was amazing. You're behind the camera, you're in front of the camera, you create stories, you influence the community, and you bring people together. Uh, I don't know what else, a friend, a brother, a mother, a father, um, uh, an associate, a coworker can ask from anybody else, man. Uh, I am so glad to know you, brother. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, man. Come and on, next man. time we get you on the show, we're going to have you demonstrate some crunk. Cause okay. I, I think the, the people here would like to see that. I would love to see it. I'm still working on mine. You know you still can't see. Don't <laughs> ask. Um, but I appreciate you coming through, my brother. Well, I appreciate you having me. Yeah, Thank you all. Like, yeah, for it's sure. definitely been a great time. Yeah, for sure. Um, you guys, make sure you subscribe. This is my moment TV on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. This is my moment. Comrade, you want to shout out to how people can follow you and keep up? Uh, people can follow me Twitter, Instagram. Um, I'm X Able, better I M X A B E L, mm-hmm. uh, on social media. 
that's where you can find me. YouTube, look him up. Bully short film, the deal short film, much more to come. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care. God bless. Yes, sir.